Yeah, that's incredible. I mean, it absolutely is uh, more and more a part of the buying process in in real estate and the ability to communicate what has been happening previously, what will be happening in the future. They they really do impact kind of the feel and the, the level of confidence that a, a buyer has when thinking about this home versus that home. And uh, I mean, since you aggregate service tickets and you're focused on transparency, it seems like there might even be some way to talk about level of maintenance, how, how often maintenance needs to be done, and to give uh, people who are trying to sell their home with solar on it even more uh, data to make it clear this was a great investment and that investment is not going to cost the, the new buyer anything. Um, in fact, it'll save them. It'll save them money, and it'll save them headache. But here's how we prove it. Well, it, it's funny you mentioned that. Um, I'm trying not to get out too many exciting announcements in one conversation, <laughs> but uh, we we are working with the wonderful people at Pearl Certification who do exactly this. So they hmm. help uh, installers convey the added value of solar energy to their homeowner customers. Uh, using a full certification process that's started in solar and now is getting into all energy efficiency. Um, so we want to basically systematize and automate that process for installers who now manually have to go in and create those certifications in the Pearl portal to automate that in the same way I just showed you a couple different systems where now Sunvoy installers don't need to re-enter all that information. We want to do the same with Pearl have a seamless process where you can convey that certificate to the homeowner. They give it to an appraiser, right? And it says, this is how big the solar system is. And they have energy efficient hot water and so forth. And now it just lands in the document section of Sunvoy and the installer literally didn't have to do anything other than enter the right data points in the CRM in the first place, but they didn't have to re-enter them in another port. Yeah. Well, Joe, uh, this has been great. I've learned a ton. Uh, I hope people watching have learned a ton. Is there anything else that you want to um, share with us before we wrap up? Well, I have a question for you, Al. I mean, you've been in software for 20 years. This is my first foray into software. I've been in solar and I've worked in government. Um, what do you think about everything that I've shown you today? You, you mentioned a little bit about some anecdotes, of, you know, other similar types of things you've seen. Um, how do you think it, it fits in or does it remind you of, of any other uh, products you've seen out there? It, it's... Um... I'm shocked by the uh, intuitive place that it holds in the market and that there aren't alternatives yet, that no one else has, has seen this opportunity before. And it, it it's pretty explainable when you think about the just plethora of products out there uh, and the various components that installers need to install and needing to work across too many of them. That's a pretty high barrier to entry for anybody to really take a look at it. Um, Construction also has some history with software and um, software not really uh, doing all that much good in the construction space. And with solar being um, construction adjacent or, or really overlapping, I can see why no one's done this yet. But it is, it's striking just how well it fits into the marketplace and the role that it plays is is clearly a role that needs to um, be addressed and be filled by somebody because in every other market, something like this exists for whatever reason. Um, we have it with, you, you mentioned Nest. Um, home automation needs a central clearinghouse and there's a marketplace where there's dozens and dozens of different types of uh, physical products of electronic products that people can buy, but no one wants to have an app for every single little thing. So you need um, a, cloud, a cloud-based service that aggregates all that data. Uh, it, it's primarily for the homeowners when when you do those sorts of things. It's primarily for the consumer market. So to see it at the installer space and see this sort of two-sided model, uh, I think shows both the reason why no one's done it yet, but also why this is so sticky and why this is going to um, continue to grow and continue to be uh, a really important component to the market. Just That's just from my experience in software, this plays pretty classic roles in the flow of information, the flow of control, the flow of money, uh, the flow of relationships. This is just, um, I'm just, you're showing me something and I, I feel like it's always been here. It's just oh, so natural. That's very kind. It's, <laughs> it's funny how many installers have come up to us at conferences and said, 
I had this idea. I wanted to build this, but you guys are two years ahead, so I'll just buy it from you. <laughs> that's yeah, that's that's the first mover status. First mover status is great. Yeah, and and I think that the the focus on uh, that market that you're you're targeting of the size of the maturity, the vertical integration, right? I think from a a, a clarity of message standpoint, I think that message is is really clear. This isn't this isn't for everybody. It's not just that every uh, solar installer, every homeowner is just going to get Sunvoy. That doesn't um, it doesn't make sense unless there's really sort of a set of attention being paid to what's really going on. And uh, without that attention, the the data is meaningless. So I think there's a there's a clear market for for this. And you know, as somebody who lives on this planet and wants to see uh, see our lives still still uh, still thrive. I, uh, I, I really hope that the, it, it's part of the movement that really takes off in terms of greening our, our homes and greening our, our businesses and our structures here and greening our grid because uh, I think we desperately need it. And looking at Sunvoy, it's, it gives me hope. Well, thank you. Al. I, I can't think of a, a better person to um, do this interview for Solar Academy because you've brought a fresh set of eyes to it, which just makes it more fun, right? I got to show it to you for the first time. And you've worked in software for most of your career. So uh, I, I really enjoyed this. And I, I know the whole Solar Academy community is really going to enjoy it too. Yeah, I hope so. Well, thanks, Joe. Thanks for the time. And, uh, and uh, we'll, maybe, maybe we'll do another one of these sometime soon. Yeah, maybe next time I'll interview you. <laughs> that sounds great. All right, man. Take care. Thanks, Al.